old Slash. I was about to say that. I was like, you look like Slash, the old version. I'm not Slash, Joe. <laughs> I'm Joella. Joella. The meanest, cruelest, devilest Joe there is. But I never harmed animals. Not yet. Never! <laughs> Not yet. I can't stand people who harm animals. Guys, Cruella is... Uh, how do I say this? Cruella, Cruella is... Uh, Evil person. Yeah, she's the worst of the worst. And, uh, I mean... I cannot stand cruelty to animals. I cannot stand murdering animals just for their fur. For you know, that was her Cruella's whole thing in the animations and in the book and in the different things. Um, and so I don't understand why Disney needs to make Cruella a sympathetic character, That's a thing now. heroine, a heroine now. Uh, this is, I'd be lying if I said that this was a bad film, if this was a horrible film, but it kind of is horrible. It just is rehashing things that we've seen before, trying to do new spins on it, and Cruella was one that you, you didn't need to mess with, in my opinion, uh, so, but it is well acted. Uh, you know, the, the, the actors themselves and their performances elevate what yeah. what's oh, here. Everyone has movies. Um good. Emma Stone, uh the 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 God, one of the Jasper and a horse. Jasper and a horse. The henchmen are hilarious. The henchmen are great. That one fat guy that's in everything yes. recently. He's so so good. so good. Uh what's his name? Paul Hauser is excellent uh in pretty much everything he's in. Mm -hmm. He's a bright he's spot in the film. Uh, and God, I just, well, they make the fucking Dalmatians the most evil dogs, you know, I initially. I called it too. Yeah. You did. We okay. were talking about it earlier. Okay. 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 So we, we never filmed a trailer reaction. I, so yeah. I have to tell you what happened behind the scenes. Let me take this ridiculous thing on. <laughs> so behind the scenes, uh, when we were talking about Cruella, we're like, Why? And like, what are they gonna do? And Joe goes, "It's like, oh, she's gonna get attacked or something by the Dalmatians. Yeah, the Dalmatians murdered her revenge. family." Yeah. Joe was like, "The Dalmatians <laughs> murdered my Why else family." Why would you want to fucking? And kill we're him? not, we're not getting into spoilers yet, but Joe is exactly right. What do you guys think of Cruella and what they did here? All right, my short list for the bright spots. Again, the actors were great. The dogs were great. Little wink, or, right? Mm -hmm. He was the best part. The, dark, uh, the soundtrack. Buddy. I love the soundtrack, even though this felt like more of a musical. Nonstop music every time. But I hated they do the soundtrack. Have, I didn't like. It was basically like Devil Wears Prada. That's a good very movie. Very generic. Never seen it. Well, it's basically the same concept. Uh, very generic. Uh, I didn't feel any sympathy, and I guess Disney's doing this whole thing with the uh, evil people with Maleficent, and I guess we're next I'm going to do this evil stepmother with Cer Cinderella. That's probably going to come out. Is it, are they actually doing like Diary of an Ugly Stepsister? <laughs> That's might. a decent book, too. They will we come might. out with the, yeah, the cruel stepmother actually has <laughs> a reason because stories. she left messes all around the houses, and the messes well, these all are... around the houses killed her mother! These are good books. Like those Killed stories are written. Family. Are they actually licensing those things? Or are you making that up? I'm making that oh, up. Okay, but no, I'm those saying are, those that's what's probably gonna happen. But yeah, those are the only three things I liked. And like, even though I do love those songs, it was not enough for me to like this film. I, I actually think it would be better without all those songs. These little twenty second annoyances. That it's just constant. It makes me roll my eyes, and I just see a you know a company trying you know, so desperately to let you, you to to give you all the songs that you love, even though they don't fit. They do not fit the film. They just don't, in my opinion. Well, they played as soon as one ends, the next one starts. They yeah, played it sympathy like for the devil. It's gotta be a fucking record. It's her last name. It's Deville, and they let you know that it's, it's gotta be a fucking record. How many songs they play in this thing? Yeah, it's like fucking thirty. 
They're trying to do as many songs as they do dresses for Emma Stone. Uh, well, speaking of which, that's another thing that I wanted to add to you. I agree with all the things in your list. Uh, another thing I want to add to the list is the costume design for this movie is incredible. There's so yeah. many really cool things there. The person who did the costume design, just the sheer quantity of high-quality work here, they need to be nominated for something. I mean, they did a very, very good job. And so this movie is striking. It looks really cool. There's really cool sets. It's a period piece. And visually so, appeasing, it, it, but... Visually <laughs> very good. And they did... You know, they, they definitely, like he said, and like you said, they, they forced this music on you. And so you're like, man. But what it ended up feeling like after the first hour is it feels more like a, a little kid has their dad's 70s playlist on iTunes. And they're only play, hitting the, like, the sample button and only plays the hook, only plays the good part. Mm -hmm. and That's so what they said, 20 seconds. It's they, annoying as fuck. They don't, play the long, they don't play it long enough. And you, it, it starts to feel really, really cheap. And then just when you Way think. Cheap. Just, Contemporary cheap. Yeah, but there's also like ten CDs worth. Like you could not buy this. You could not. You could not buy this soundtrack the most on one CD. CD on the world, Disney baby. spent really big money, or they've got licenses in place just to have all of, uh, because I mean they put oh, a for sure. it is it is crazy how much is in there. I, I think all the actors did a did a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. I think there was parts of the story where I did did really like. There's a short, well maybe middle segment of this movie where I was actually having a good time with the movie, and I think that the movie goes real slow, and then it like speeds up super, super fast and then kind of gets interesting and then it slows down again to the point where I'm almost knocked out of the story and then it starts to get interesting again and they, then they, they pull back. And so the movie kind of feels a little uneven. Mm -hmm. That being said, it's probably one of the better, if not best, live action ones that they've done because they've had some real stinkers. You know how they're, they're starting this... Huh? With Glenn Close? I didn't and, see that one. And she's a producer. She's an executive producer. Really? In, in this, I saw her in the, the credits. Yeah, yeah so. I saw that live action one. She, she was better than Devil Wears Brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does every villain deserve a sympathetic backstory? Yes. yes. Joker, uh, Maleficent. Well, they, yeah, they even played Smile. Yeah. Harley Quinn. Jafar is, was so an abused child. So if you believe child. every villain deserves a backstory, you'll love this film. Because no. it is done excellently, giving this villain uh, a sympathetic uh, backstory. It's just, so 10 out of 10? No. Why not? Every villain deserves a backstory. If they're interesting and if well done. If they're interesting. This was an interesting backstory, was Why it gave not? Joker a uh, low one and everyone hated me for it? <laughs> I was like, oh, this is the best movie ever. I was like, it's did not. You, did you, uh, so, okay. So you didn't like her backstory? No. Okay. Like, um, it turned real hard. She changed all of a sudden for no reason. It didn't deserve the change that she made yeah. and made me feel like she is a piece of but shit. But then she didn't but change. I, she did. And then but she gets like, nice at the end again. Yeah, I was like, this is not deserving. I was like, it didn't, the buildup wasn't there for me. Mm -hmm. So not every de villain, villain deserves. If done properly, but this was not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it'd be great if they, if they, they did it right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, think of how many cool villains that do exist. I mean, like, we, we'd we love to have, like, especially from comics, like, we have, like, a dark side, or they actually go in, and we actually get they go from the comics directly into a live action. That'd be great. But if they did it poorly... Well, then we got a lot of info coming films, like Joe suggested, because every villain deserves a sympathetic backstory. We're going to go with the evil well, stepmother. they're running out of ideas. Mm -hmm. what it's else a, it's a matter of perspective, yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it running out of ideas, or is it putting a, a fresh new spin on villains, and if it's done right, then then you enjoy it? I don't fucking know. All I know is that I disliked this film because it felt like a, a corporate product made, uh, you know, in a very formulaic way in order to make you like a, you know, character that is a piece of shit. And they change everything about the, the character just to make sure that you don't hate her. So she yeah. at the beginning of the film, she likes dogs. She's always liked dogs. She's had a little dog since she was a little girl. She's always had this little dog following her around, and she loves a little dog. She's bullied. And, and they course. try to explain how she doesn't like Dalmatians, but she never really doesn't like Dalmatians. The Dalmatians in the film are just mean as fuck to her and do something that we'll talk about in the spoilers that is like, what the fuck? And, but then towards the end, she likes Dalmatians. So none of the stuff that we know about Cruella is in Cruella. They kind of hint at it, but then they say, no, that's not it. And then they put a stinger at the end, which makes you go, what? I don't. I, are you leading into her, her eventually becoming the villain or what? I don't know. It's just I, I don't know how to feel about the film. Hmm. 
same because like especially at what Disney's trying to pay, make you pay for it was thirty dollars thirty dollars yeah. oof not liking that yeah this would be this would actually be an interesting watch if you didn't pay thirty dollars yeah I was for like uh, I'm like kind of like between an average like I I didn't hate it because it like there's some good parts obviously with the uh, mm-hmm. horse and Jasper. I wanted to see more of them. Yeah. They were the rising stars, in my opinion. Yeah. And there's some sequences in the movie that I do like. When, like, there, there's this thing where, like, Cruella goes, is trying to establish herself as a character, and she's just going around sabotaging a bunch of things mm-hmm. and, and putting on these public spectacles. I actually like that. I think that there's some cool stuff that they that developed was. there. And they really started getting things going. And then when they get back into, like, oh, we have to do the story part again, it's like, oh, man, this just slows. Dragged so, on. Yeah. Um, it was too long also. Yeah, it was it, like two hours and 16 minutes or somewhere around time. Yeah, but it felt a little unfocused. They and should uneven. have probably cut like 30 minutes of it or something. So this isn't the evil Cruella because, I mean, the evil Cruella is irredeemable. Um, she attempted murder of puppies, even humans, trying to ram people off the road. Uh, killed a tiger in captivity for their fur. Uh, I mean... It's right in her name, Cruella de Vil. It's like cruel, evil, devil. It's it's everything. Uh, so, you know, but this yeah. isn't this isn't that Cruella exactly. And because they can't make that character sympathetic, so they kind of wash that away and say That's no. Not her yet. <laughs> no, I don't even think it, this character is capable of becoming her. Um, you know, they plant seeds in here saying, well, there's a reason why she's so crazy and it has something to do with her lineage and she can become unhinged. And in the film, she becomes unhinged for just a little bit. So you see a tiny bit of it where she lashes out at her supposed friends and family, where she's on a one track mind in order to get back at something. Uh, but then she kind of realizes the way she's being. And then she's a mixture of her persona, Cruella, and her real person, Estella. Estella. And, Estella. The, and now that I talk about it out <laughs> loud, it works. It fucking works, and I hate it for it because I don't want to like the film. But the more I talk about the film, this is why I'm confused on this review. Because I think I'm coming to like it, even though I fucking hate it. I don't get I don't know what to do here. <laughs> Somebody fucking take over because Cruella is a piece of shit. But this isn't that Cruella. This is a different Cruella. And Emma Stone makes her sympathetic, but it's like the per but corporate. Why do we need to make every villain sympathetic? I don't think we need to do. I don't think we need to do that. There's certain villains just <laughs> that need to be villain <laughs> villains, right? And uh, and somebody that you like to hate, uh, and you don't really have to give them sympathy. Curiosity. But what's wrong? But Joe, what's wrong with giving villains sympathy? I guess nothing. <laughs> it it deepens their character. People love this kind of shit. Like also like making of a killer and stuff like that. People just love the intrigue and the mm-hmm. origin story. So it's just like, hmm, what made it this? Is it the sure. curiosity. What of makes it? you yeah. snap and want to kill exactly. one hundred and one puppies? <laughs> well, there's not. They're not going to explain that because there's no fucking excuse for that. So but they tiptoe Disney. around that yes. the entire time, and they pretend that that never never happened and that won't ever happen. And I think that's the thing that pisses me off because it's like you, you painted yourself into this fucking corner, but you managed to write yourself out of the fucking corner. And it's making me mad. Get your ass back in that corner. This is Disney. Well, I mean, <laughs> they, they did definitely write themselves out of the corner, but they, they just yeah. are kind of ignoring the own rules and everything that they said. This, they're like, right. this is Cruella. It's House like, rules. No, but it's, it's, not, not, it's, it's, not, it's not Cruella. It's definitely not Cruella. It's Cruella with three uh, A's. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then and if they made that... But they could have made this a new character, but it gives it that extra oomph and an interest. I wouldn't have been interested. A fashion world and 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 two rivals fighting each other via clothes and and and. Watch it. I don't. I okay. Watch I'm it. gonna watch it. You watch Clone Wars, Joe. Goddamn it. No, watch Cowboy Bebop first. Completely different. <laughs> no, this it's like- not. 20. No, there's so many things that you haven't watched that you need to watch. Yeah, but this okay, is just like watch, Someone's got to watch I'll Zumbies watch and it's not and me. You watch Clone Wars. <laughs> Anyways, it's just not my thing is what I'm saying. And, I, and obviously, if we w- didn't have to review it or we weren't reviewing all the Disney Plus stuff and Dis- you know Disney stuff, we, this would probably be one that I skip. Um, but 
I would watch it because I have watched the Dalmatians. I grew up with that kind of stuff. And so that's what gives it that extra interest where I might actually be interested in watching it. And I think Disney knows that. And that was a smart fucking thing to do. And then to get a, you know, new hot, she's not new actress, but, you know, a young she's actress that's hot and, and everybody, and she's great, doing well, award winning, uh, nominated, all sorts of good stuff to put her in the role. Well, it freaking worked it worked and i hate it for it <laughs> um all right so you know the there's just for me the soundtrack is uh, annoying it, it's just it rings hollow i i could just see it being used in as a tactic in order to get you to like it um and but it's a it's a fuck it's a good story it's a good story. He's coming around. Mm-hmm. I don't want to come around, but I don't fucking like this film. <laughs> you don't have to like it. You don't. Yeah. All right. Well, you fucking tell me. Well, I'm, nobody's well, telling me I have to like yeah. it. I I understand that, but there there are things in it that uh, that I don't like, and then I'm just like, what is the purpose of this? But then ultimately, it was well shot, well filmed, well acted, and I've seen it done before. I haven't seen it done better. You guys are saying it has been done better in Devil Wears Prada, but I haven't seen that film. So um, this is one that does it well. So let's go ahead and go into final verdicts. We want to go ahead and go first? I mean, we literally watch these things, and we <laughs> start our review 15, 10, three we minutes after watching it. it. Yeah, this is simmer. the first time I'm conflicted on a film. Um, okay. <clears throat> so... This was well acted, well shot. I think the story beats definitely kind of work. Like if you if you put them up on the wall, you're like, okay, this makes sense how this flows. I think this this movie has a couple issues that are hard for me to ignore. Um, it is super overtly and obviously emotionally manipulative. Mm-hmm. And so the, if you had, they had been more clever with how they did that, and they do it with musical cues, they do it with, oh, this is an evil character, we give her a puppy, she likes puppies. <laughs> that's human that's beings the like thing puppies. that's getting to me that I can't put into words. You put it perfectly. And so when, when a, something is... Initially, uh, emotionally manipulative. Yeah, and so when they're so ham-fisted about it and they're so overt in it, it, it kind of... Put you build up your guard because you realize that something is trying to emotionally manipulate you, and it's not being done through clever writing. It's being done with puppy. You like the Rolling Stones? It's like yeah, I like the Rolling Stones. Like <laughs> really? we're gonna play seven Rolling Stones songs <laughs> right really now. Like Stones. Well, I, I do, and so when they're yeah. playing all these songs that I do like That's at cool. points where they could be kind of cool, it's it's almost and then then you let up your guard a little bit. Um, they're dangling the keys. I'm yeah. Like, All right. Uh, you got my attention. I think, <laughs> I think it's very uneven uh, as far as pacing yes. goes. There are parts of the movie that I would say are downright boring. And on like they, they, they do have a purpose. I'm not saying that they're, they're, they, were, they do not provide context. But this is a fucking movie. And movies, unless you're goddamn Zack Snyder, are supposed to be a certain length of time. And, and if you need to stretch them out, you better make sure that those scenes matter. And there's mm-hmm. so many scenes in here that honestly didn't matter. And this the movie... film ends like in the middle. It's where it, we were, we looked at the time. We're like, holy shit, there's... we're only halfway through. Yeah. What 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 the fuck. Yeah, and so it, it does feel unfocused. It does feel stretched out. And if you're going to stretch this movie out, and you could do it because there's some segments of this movie I really do like. I do like Cruella establishing herself, sabotaging the Baroness, doing all these cool things, the team dynamic, doing all yes, these hijinks. That's what I love. And there was so there's like some parts in the beginning I really like, there's some parts in the middle I really like, and there's parts at the end that kind of everything kind of comes together. It's all that other middle stuff paired with some of the other manipulative stuff that I just didn't quite like. Ultimately, I think the story does work, and I think this is probably the best Disney live-action thing that they've made. I'm, I'm probably forgetting something in some of the comments. It's like, well, what about... Th- in, you know, of the established ones. So, I think the this best is... A- Disney live-action? I don't know if I count this as a Disney live-action because it's its own spin-off kind of thing. You think it's like it's a unique... sort of like a... It's yeah, a prequel to the... I, it's almost like... It's in. It's like a Maleficent. It's mm. like a sequel to that kind of thing. It's I in that same stuff. This is better side or, thing. Yeah. I think that's different than the live-action Beauty of the Beast, the live-action okay. Mulan, the live-action this. Aladdin. Yeah. The, this, I Do think, you like this better than Maleficent? I think this is a better filmed, acted, written thing, but it's probably more even. But Maleficent's like... 
uh, junk food, right? It's just you don't take it all that seriously, and you get through it kind of quick, and you're like, oh, that was kind of nice. This is going to have way higher highs, but honestly, it has lower lows. And so this one's a little uneven for me, and because of that unevenness and because all the other things we talked about, I'm going to give it a seven. Seven. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit lower. I'm going to give this one a six. For me, I did like the stuff you're talking about. The m- the beginning and the end, or the middle was basically the team dynamic. I loved all yeah. that stuff. That was the g- best part. And what kind of faltered for me was like whenever Cruella was doing her own thing. I was like, okay, this is like too long. Like I said before, you should have cut like 30 minutes of this. Some of her... Um, her antics are kind of like undeserving, like the way she like treats her family. Oh, that was so she, bad. I was like, why, so bad. Why, like, why do we care a about this? She's a yeah, bitch. Yeah, it's like these guys don't deserve Let's it. Let's glorify like, bitch, yeah. bitches. Exactly. Okay. It's like make me believe you're turning into a villain or something that happened, but n- this was undeserving. Right. Well, even the characters stopped her and looked yeah, at each other like, and went like, what the hell did we do to deserve yeah, this? And I'm like, saying the audience is like, nothing. Like, you you, we, deserve, you didn't deserve this at all. Team. It was forced, like, this is it your was forced it was in there very because forced. somebody like, oh, at we the gotta, studio we was like, this is the point where yeah. the conflict happens and I'm going to write in a forced conflict. And that's the thing that's got me yeah. back and forth is that every trope and every bad writing thing is there but it's so well acted Mm -hmm. the dialogue is good the costumes are great it's filmed competently and it elevates it above where it should be yeah that's why i was like for me it was like first half second it was going going and then they started tripping over itself i was like okay well i don't like this and then they started kind of getting negative but overall i still enjoyed the film um visually amazing costumes great Oh, would I pay so $30 nice. dollars for okay. this, though? That's all, that's I, that I didn't thing. take into consideration. Well, that's but, another thing, too. That's why I brought mine down. I was like, for, I'm not going to pay $30. I don't know if that I pay $30 ridiculous. for this. If, if so, I had to include the price, I'd drop it down to a 6 If you get it included with Disney+, Plus, I would put it up to a 7 I don't know. Are we including the price? Yeah, I mean, well, we I did am. it for Mulan. Well, I did. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and then people in the comments are already talking, well, you can watch well, it with 15 three people. people. Three of you all saw it, and that's 10 bucks each. I don't care. I don't fucking care. All I care about is the listed price. Why that's does it have to be I so expensive? Uh, so don't, 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 don't. Okay, so here's what I can say is uh, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because because of all of the good elements, the acting, uh, you know, some, some good genuine jokes, some good moments. Uh, I do like the back and forth between her rival. You have the Baroness uh, and and Cruella as Cruella in this kind of seventies rival mm-hmm. rivalry of fashion and and uh, and of my fashion word, dangerous. <laughs> yes, yeah, everybody speaks like this, and I'm going to get you back. You know this kind of of stuff. It was interesting and it was fun in that way. Um, it's just all the. Dalmatian stuff and all of the you're supposed to be Cruella Deville, the mo- one of the most evil characters with no redeemable that's qualities. That's the hard part because you're trying that's to separate it. You, you, can't, you separate can't separate it, it. <laughs> and that's why I'm I'm going back and forth. So um, for being so uh, you know emotionally manipulative for you for just jamming in every fucking classic song that they think people <laughs> like. One right after the other, you will not shut up with it. That definitely lowers it for the point. I don't know how it r- raises in points for you. That's just too fucking manipulative. Just just listen to a fucking Rolling Stones album. God damn it. There's some other bands. Anyways, <laughs> tell you train dogs, it's a man. Six it out of ten, and uh, it's it's lucky that it's getting away with a six out of ten. You gotta um, let it simmer. I I well, we don't have time to fucking I simmer because we review things fucking five minutes after. We gotta start playing. We gotta. Stuff to do right now. I know. All right. Anyways, but that's that's part of our show. Part a disgruntled of our show, six. <laughs> part of our show is the initial impressions. You know what I mean? First impressions. First impressions. Yeah. Things could change later on. My initial thing while going into it was a fucking two. Like I don't give a shit about Cruella. I think it's morally bankrupt that you're trying so you to make dogs. a character like that. Yes, you're a fucking animal abuser and killer, and you want to make her. Oh, let's do the fashion thing let's make her a hero for all women everywhere and they're you know this and that and fu- bull fucking shit but then as i was watching it i was like okay so now <laughs> we're at a fucking four fuck you that's it not gonna do it any more than a four 
And then and then they make me laugh, and they do the fucking formula, and then the songs, everything. Paul oh, Hauser's and I'm like, great. God damn it, six. That's it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> fucking. There's six. a one-eyed dog named Wink that they dressed right. up as a mouse, and that dog yes. is precious. I yes. And I want to meet that it. dog. Yes. No problem. All right. So that is what is in there. But then I can uh. tell. How manipulative it, it is, and so that's that's it. All right, guys. So we gotta go <laughs> into uh, spoiler territory. spoiler territory. Um, but again, great cast. I forgot to mention Mark Strong's in it uh, with hair. Yeah, well, <laughs> there, there was a scene with yellow hair. It was they great. do a flashback where everybody's young, um, and anyway, the Baroness. Uh, you know, she's rightfully. Uh, you know, she's played perfectly in mm. in her attitude and her stuck upness and just her pure ruthlessness. Because you have to, if if Cruella is not going to be the crazy ruthless person that she is, you have to have somebody pick up that slack. And the Baroness definitely picks up the slack in that way. And am I missing anybody? There's Art. Uh, Artie, Art, the, the store owner. Apparently, mm. the fir- uh, Disney would like you to know that this is the first openly gay character in a live action film. Bullshit. They made that a fucking point to uh, put out in all of the um, in some of the material, and that is bullshit. Yeah. So it wasn't. Didn't they do? Uh, yeah, Beauty no, the they Beast? done that. That was a big joke. It blew up on the internet because it's like he, I didn't watch this tokenism the Beast. that they're doing here. Is our, Gaston's friend? Well, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, well, the, uh, exactly. That one, and there's been other characters in animated stuff as well, but they want they want props. They want clap, please. But Ar- Arnie's barely in the film, and it's just, I don't know. They proudly boast that it's the first openly gay character for applause. Well, this film ain't going to be shown in China and Russia, that's for sure. He's <laughs> open, the other one was still in... In the closet, that's what it was. He has an entire song praising his overly muscled... I don't, is that song actually in the new one? Did you watch the Beauty and the Beast? I didn't watch it. Really but in the animated one, he's singing that song. It's like somebody, no somebody really like, like gets done. Yeah, like it's just, uh, it's just like, that mm. kind of stuff from Disney. Is like stop. It was an it. open. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, um, okay. Anyway, so that's it. Let's go to the spoilers. So Cruella, it is. <laughs> It'll make you feel something. Um, so you let me know whether you ended up liking it and can understand my criticisms of it or whether you just hate it. But it's not worth $30. I forgot about that. When this comes out, you know, we actually got a, a screener for it. Um, and we're, I, I just don't think it's worth $30. So if you can uh, split that cost amongst a bunch of your friends or you can wait till it goes uh, free on the Disney Plus service, which is what's going to happen with Mulan and all these other mm. ones over time. Do that. Um, not, don't, don't, don't waste your money. In fact, go watch A Quiet Place 2. I guarantee it's going to be better. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, join us in the spoiler section.